So Second Life has a mobile game. Finally, 20 years after the platform has been around, we are getting a mobile game. If you don't know me, I am Ivory Snow, and I do like to talk about some technical aspects of Second Life on this channel, and that is exactly what we are talking about today, Second Life Mobile. And we've had this conversation so many times on this channel. Now we are actually talking about the official mobile app. That's right, they put this project back into play. So first what I wanna do is I just wanna give my initial reaction. All right, I'm gonna press play. Hi there, I'm Hi. John Biddy Linden, VP of product. I was looking around for some new places to visit and saw a few really is this interesting the mobile? things in the destiny. I know this is a mobile because this looks too nice. It looks almost way too nice. Okay, let me just press play. It's only eight seconds in and I'm already running my mouth. Guide. Cool, I thought. I'll just go check out Kaleidoscope, that monarch butterfly preserve. On my phone. Ah, it is the mobile app. I'm literally trying not to scream because it's like 12.40 a.m. and my neighbors already hate me. But that is the mobile app. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's true. Side it's note, so I early, love the we're sun. We're super excited to share a first peek at something new. Second Life Mobile. Look, it's me oh. on my phone. So really quick, um, I keep pausing it. I think I'm so excited, um, but I was actually nervous to see what the world would look like rendered because we have had other viewers that are third party in the past, like Lumaya, uh, speed light, things like that, that I've talked about on this channel before. And the 3D world just was a little bit rocky, a little bit shaky, a little bit unappealing and blocked by paywalls. So the fact that this looks so good and it's on your phone, it's just, ugh, I'm living on the inside, goodness. I, we've tried to build a mobile viewer because of course we want to have all the glory of Second Life in our pocket. But honestly, oh this God. is the most exciting result we've seen so far. Uh, we really wanted to start with the hardest things first. Oh my it's God. The hardest avatars and beautiful worldviews. And we wanted to make sure that our app works on all platforms. Okay, period. So basically what she's saying is, yes, you're gonna get it on Android and iPhone, do not ask us. Cause I think that was like the issue last time. I think it was going to be available for like Maybe it was like Apple only and not Android, but she's saying, yeah, don't ask us about what, you know, uh, device I can use this on. It's going to be on all of them. With joy and trepidation that we share with you the early results of these efforts. Oh of my course, goodness. It's still very much a work in progress. You will see very little functionality or user interface for now. But here it is, immediate vibrant second life on Android and ios exactly For a little bit more about what to expect with second life mobile here's my colleague bojo linden first of all can we just talk about the amount of i, I don't even think y'all call it swag these days what do the kids call it riz can we just talk about the riz the charisma okay the leather jacket the green hair matching the green shirt that is a whole vibe it's everything they love about second life while on the go with our upcoming mobile viewer. Look at how the camera, look at how the camera just pans around effortlessly. To make this happen, we've started our development work with some of the most challenging aspects first. That includes delivering the full rendering of avatars with all their complex attachments and behaviors, as well as the full rendering of 3D environments that are so critical to the oh second Oh my life gosh. Experience. The Second Life mobile viewer is built on Unity. And that fact has paved the way for residents. Honestly, guys, don't get mad at me if I just do YouTube videos from my phone. <laughs> don't get mad at me if I do uh, Second Life vlogs from my phone from this point on when it drops. Because I like to be in bed watching my shows after work. You know, YouTube is hard. YouTube is very hard. Doing vlogs is difficult. So the way that camera is moving smooth and buttery like grease in 1965 this is letting me know that i might be able to do some mobile vlogs and please don't clock me when i do just like when you see me post vlogs that were clearly recorded from the second life mobile app respectfully mind your business thank you to be able to explore and engage across the virtual world oh using multiple mobile phone and tablet platforms 
including Android and iOS. I Look have at been that. blown away at how lush and engaging experience we can get on a mobile device. I thought we were going to have to give up some of the- Oh my gosh. And I know this is good because look at how it's getting all of these floating particles. Nothing's glitching. Nothing is like not rest properly. All of the textures are loaded accurately. So yeah, this is a win. Of Second Life to get it working on mobile phones. But so far, we haven't had to compromise too much on graphic fidelity. It's all still very recognizable, in many cases, downright gorgeous. I don't know, like, I'm not really a technical person, so I could be putting my foot on my mouth, but it's like, I know Second Life is always talking about integrity and, like, graphics and, like, a bunch of technical stuff that my brain doesn't have capacity to understand right now. And it's like, it's 2023, like... Why would y'all not be able to do that? Like, that's what's always been confusing me, especially, I don't know, let me not, because I was about to say, like, IMVU, VR chat, da 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 But that's not my business. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I've always been confused as to, like, why it took so long to do a mobile app. Like, is it the way, is it, like, the infrastructure of Second Life? Because I know it was made some time ago. Um, like, do they need to, I don't know. I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to press play. But there's still much work to be done before we launch Second Life Mobile. Bitch. Oh, hell no. I know the way Second Life works. I know what you guys do over there in Linden Lab. I know how you guys delay projects. We need to see this by the summertime or I will be going to San Francisco, California. Okay? I, please don't push this back. Please don't let the mobile app go to the wayside because... Me and my girls will start a riot. Don't play with Here's me. Here's Patch to let you know don't. more about what's next. Patch Linden. Thanks, Mo. With the plaid shorts. Please don't push this back. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for talking just about Patch Linden and his plaid shorts. It has skipped all the way to the beginning. Okay, I'm so sorry, Patch. I love you. You're honestly slaying those shorts, sir. There's an increased sense of connectedness when you are virtually placed within an immersive environment, and that proves to always be powerful when it comes to generating remembrance of- I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at the way everything is, like, rendered, like, the- Damn, what's it called? Hold on, let me figure out what's it called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I just, I can't think of it right now. It is 1248 in the morning. Your draw distance, okay? I'm really impressed at how everything within the draw distance is just effortlessly rendered and it just looks good. So that experience. That's a plus. Successfully, Second Life has demonstrated over the past nearly 20 years that you can find almost every interest you might have presented in various unique ways. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to pull out my phone and show all my family members and few friends my second life any moment. It's like, ugh, so amazing. I don't even have to be a loser that brings my laptop to the family function. I could just pull out my phone and be like, look at this virtual space I decorated. With all of its hidden discoverable gems and artifacts, Ooh, see, look at that. My mobile vlogs are honestly about to eat. I wonder if they're my story farmers. I peeped the barn in the background. I wonder if Patch Linden is secretly addicted to my story. With that said, now imagine being able to stay connected with your second life from anywhere, chat with friends, visit your favorite in-world hangout spots, and later, do pretty much anything you can do with the desktop Second Life viewer without being tethered to your computer. I'm reading between the lines here, and I think they want a Second Life users to go outside. I don't really know about that patch, but continue. Back from Second Life to a mobile experience. <laughs> and we can't wait to show you more in the coming months as our development progress continues. Honestly, y'all ate that. Patch and the Linden crew, grumptily, I'm just amazing, beautiful, gorgeous, exciting, can't wait, looking forward to it. I, I do have some questions here. Uh, I'm wondering if this is going to open up a gateway for like Firestorm to say, uh, yeah, we got Firestorm mobile too, you feel me? Or like, you know, Black Dragon mobile is on the way. So like, I'm wondering if this is going to be specific to Second Life. So I did look through the Second Life community forum and there really wasn't much conversation from the Lindens themselves. However, I did see some residents talking about 
you know, putting the mobile app behind a paywall. And I honestly think that would be a terrible idea because I, I, I feel like what Second Life needs is for it to open itself to a vast audience, right? Like it needs to open itself up to a generation of new people. And those, the generation of new people, they love to be on their phone. You know, they love everything phone-based. I even get people asking me all the time, I don't see Second Life in the app store. How do I download it? You know, like when I post TikTok videos. So I feel like blocking this behind a paywall is just going to cut those people off. And, you know, I, I get it. Like people that have been around for Second Life, they're like, oh, I wouldn't mind paying 99 cents. You know, it's not about you, Mary. Okay. It's not about you and what you want for Linden Lab. I think, I, I feel like it's best for what the community needs. And I just feel like putting this project behind a paywall would just be detrimental because it would only appeal to people who are already on Second Life uh, versus bringing new people into the Second Life community who are interested in virtual worlds and Second Life being pretty much the pioneer of virtual reality. I, I think it could benefit from open itself, opening, ugh. I feel like it could benefit from opening itself up to a whole different demographic, uh, maybe like a bit younger of a demographic. So let's not, like, let's not uh, put it behind a paywall. Let's not make it a Second Life Premium Plus feature uh, because I, I guarantee you it's, it's not going to uh, add some benefit to, you know, growth for Second Life. It's going to be great for people who are already like very familiar with Second Life and they just want to have the benefit of having the mobile app. But again, I feel like sometimes with Second Life, a lot of the residents get a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit centered in themselves. And it's just like, okay, like, let's think about the community as a whole, like who if, if I've never heard of Second Life, right? Like maybe I've played other games, but like I've not ever heard of Second Life or um, I've never tried it before. I don't have an account. I'm familiar with it, but I've never been on it. Why the hell would I pay 99 cents, $2 to try something out? Like who, <laughs> who, who was, who was doing that? Who was doing that, Mary? Who who was going to say, you know what? I've never been on Second Life. Let me pay a dollar for this mobile app. Nobody. Why? Because they would go to other virtual platforms that you can access through your phone and get on those for free. Uh, so I, I I do want to like just voice my opinion. Um, you know, opinions are like those certain holes that we all have between our cheeks, but I, I'm just going to go out here on a limb and say, I really just do not think that putting the Second Life mobile app behind a paywall is a good idea. Now, I will say that what this does for Second Life, um, having the mobile app is it is going to allow it to compete with some up and coming virtual worlds where I mean, I wouldn't even say that they're running to the top because Horizon World, they don't even got legs, child. I don't even know what, <laughs> I don't even know what supports your avatar on Horizon Worlds, but y'all are literally bobbles. You you guys are doodle bobs in Horizon World. So I can't really say that you're like running to the top, but you know, they're getting there. Uh, VR chat, um, I'm VU. Um, they have that really nice mobile app, which really was good for them. Uh, but I feel like having this mobile app would really even the playing field for Second Life uh, because this world has something that a lot of the others don't. Um, besides legs, you know, it just has that that diversity. It has that user generated content that a lot of these other worlds just like lack in, uh, you know, like why would I want to invest in a game? where I look like a Wii character. Like why Why would I want to spend my time like in a world that looks like Legos? Like I don't, that's just not for me. 
And I just, I feel like a lot of people just aren't interested. And it's just like, why have that when Second Life has all of this, you know? Uh, so I, I, I do feel like this mobile app is just going to make our community see a spike uh, that we probably saw, you know, during the pandemic times where a lot of people were either coming back to Second Life or new to Second Life. I, th I think the mobile app is definitely going to give us a big burst of new incoming users, which I love because I love helping people get acclimated to Second Life. It's literally one of my favorite things to do. I feel like there's also the hurdle though of what does this mean? Uh, because Apple and Google Play Store, they're notorious for being very strict uh, with, you know, their standards, their policies, what you can do. So I'm wondering if then, if Second Life is just going to be like, you can only access general areas. Like, I don't know how that's going to work because there is adult content in Second Life. You know, that's not a secret, even though I tell people all the time, like, it's just not an adult game where people are bumping their pixel hoo-hahs against each other. No. You know, like it's it's so much more than that. But I just feel like a lot of the times, like it has that negative connotation. So I'm just wondering, honestly, and this is just me being completely transparent. I am a little concerned uh, because I, I do know that it's like you literally cannot get a quote unquote adult game through the app stores. It's just not really possible because it is so strict. Uh, so I, I feel like Linden Lab has that all figured out already since it is going to be on all platforms. Uh, but I just, I'm, I'm wondering if there's like going to be anything different. Like, are we going to only be able to access uh, certain worlds? Like, I don't know how that works. Because um, I know Apple and Google are just not going to be having y'all at um, Uncle Grandpa's dirty south um milf buster basement sims like they they don't want to see y'all there <laughs> they do not want to see y'all with y'all cupras shaking and gyrating down on the pole uh for 50 linden to take your top off like they're they're not going to get down with that but i i am optimistic that Linden Lab will have it all figured out and that really won't be a problem. Uh, that's just a genuine curiosity for me. Uh, another thing that I am curious about is voice. Are we going to be able to utilize voice with the mobile app? Like, will I have the microphone? Will I be able to listen to the stream? Because low key sometimes the stream that I have, I just... I just vibe to it. Sometimes when I'm working, I just log in so I can pull the stream URL so I can listen to the music because it's just such a vibe. So it's just like, if I can't listen to the music and if I can't yell at people on mic, what am I going to do? Like, am, am I going to be able to have voice? Are we going to have our ears uh, plugged in, as we like to say in Second Life? Um, are we going to have our voice box? So that is another question of mine. Um, I also would like to see how we can access our inventory, because if you're the type of person who is going to get introduced to Second Life completely mobile, uh, you'll never log into a computer or a laptop, what have you. Uh, you're just going to get on Second Life from your iPad or your, you know, your, what are Android phones? Samsungs? <laughs> your Samsung and you are just going to be on Second Life Mobile from start to finish. Like, how does that work? Uh, what does it look like when you're purchasing things? Like, what does it look like when you're trying to customize your avatar shape? So I am really excited. And honestly, I would like to see, maybe I could do a poll in the community tab. What's going to drop first, Genus Heads or Second Life Mobile? Second Life Mobile or a new Genus Head? The people need to know. I feel like it's going to be a race to start. Are we going to get the new genus updates and mesh heads or will we on Second Life Mobile? I don't know. I just feel like they both will be coming in 2025. The joke's going to be on us. So let me know what you think down in the comment section about the coming news on 
the Second Life mobile app. I am very excited. Like I said, I just cannot wait to do my vlogs from my phone in my bed, check on my My Story crops throughout the day so I can get that extra XP. But let me know how you plan to use the Second Life mobile app. When it drops, uh, let me know down below. I'm very curious to see like who this actually is for. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.